I'm Kathleen Henderson from Roots and Boots, and in this video, I wanted to take you on a tour of my boys' pallet fort. This is the original section of the fort, and you can see that it is now leaning considerably. So this started out as two pallets by one pallet and just one level. We had a bunch of pallets sitting around and the boys asked, hey, can we use a couple and make a fort with them? So we said, yes, of course you can. Well, that was about five years ago when my oldest was probably about 12 and they're all four years apart. So they were about 12, eight and four when they built their first tiny fort out of pallets. Here's a picture of the very first pallet fort, which you can see was considerably smaller and built around this small dead tree. That early fort was very primitive and as is still true today, was primarily built out of pallets with additional items scavenged from our barns. This early iteration of the fort was decidedly chicken friendly. For example, there was a rainwater collection contraption that fed into a chicken waterer as well as a sort of ladder slash ramp slash roost in the corner. Each version of their pallet fort has included crossbows and some kind of pulley messaging system. And then you can see what it has morphed into over the past five years. I was just thinking about how I think you were only four when your brother started building this fort. Do you remember the first tiny fort? Kind of. What do you remember about it? Uh, it was a lot smaller. A lot smaller? The boys started building the fort in the summer of 2019. This picture was taken in the spring of 2020. So about one year after they first started the fort, they had expanded considerably and it was looking much sturdier and slightly less ramshackle. Still chicken friendly, of course. All right, you guys gonna give me a tour of the fort? I was just asking Haddon, did you all start building this fort the same year that we moved to the farm? Um, it was either that or the year after. Okay, so it was probably about five years ago. And this is the original fort right here, right? Nope. Yeah. Oh, where's the original part? That little tower. Whoa. What do you mean? Oh, the original part? oh well, I thought this was. We took well, well I don't, we, we took a wall out and put some new stuff in. So, so basically it's, the original fort is like this rectangle, but it wasn't that big. That used to be a spike wall. Oh, so you changed it. We've changed it. Okay, but the well, original It was like this. That was the original fort? And I, yeah, and then it came to here. This is the only part of the original fort that's left. No, it's not. Yeah, it this is. This wall. Did you... The spike wall used uh, to be there. Okay, so there's some disagreement as to where exactly the original fort was, but how big was the original fort? About... Well, the very, very, very first one was very small. And then we expanded to that tower to like there, there to there. And it came back across. That's the crossbow. Come around okay. here. Around here is the best way to hook the crossbow. Awesome. This had, or Are those just bamboo. sticks? Yeah. They're bamboo. The bamboo stakes? Uh -huh. And they're in a piece of pipe. The string is a bungee.
And then you can shoot from up here. Nice. Other cock has his own cage. Look, one. Other cock has his own personal <laughs> cage. And then he has uh, a room with some water and some feet. Is he your fort mascot? Yes. Yeah. And guess what, Mom? What? When bad guys come to the fort, they'll have to get beat up by the rooster. Is he your secret weapon? This is our jail, so they have to go in. You release the secret weapon? No, it's just our jail. Good, I can do it right. I got it. No, it has to. Oh, there you go. Can I lock it though? Yeah. Now, what is the purpose of this metal piece? It's just it's so we can keep things here. Nobody can grab them. There's a shelf here, and it keeps people from reaching in and grabbing them. I showed you video oh! there. I can lock it. I'm locking it. Got it? There. Okay, show me some of the features of this fort. Uh, Let's start at this end. Arrows. Yes, I see the weapons here. The there. So Haddon is up on the tip top of the tower. Tallest tower. What do you call it? Tallest tower. Oh, the tallest tower. Is that what you actually call it? Yes. <laughs> the, the tallest, tallest tower. tower. No, the tall tower. The tall and tower. what is this thing it here? It prefers the tower of height. Uh, or something. Is like this? A shield to hide behind that you can. Uh, no, that is supporting the tallest tower from tipping over. Because I see it's leaning a lot. Yeah. And you can so hide behind it. And it's a convenient hiding spot. Yeah. yeah okay. So then, what else? What else? Show me. There are multiple crossbows. Crossbows. There are flags on it, but not in the winter. Not in the winter. Okay. Hey, it worked. It depends on. There we go. Do you need help on that side, Haddon? Yeah, I'm pretty short. To be 56 inches to ride on this ride? This is a cupboard that you can hide. Show me how it works. Uh, okay. I require a demonstration. So, the so that's the Haddon size jail? Okay, you gotta go, yeah. So the prisoner goes in like that. <laughs> and then if this is not stuck under. And most of the time you can get out. Most of the time? Most of the time. <sighs> not all the time. See how do you get out? Uh, First, he has to lock it. Yeah. I'm trying to. And I'll see if I can get out. Yeah. Okay, and when we find him trying to do it, we get our spears. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't seem like a very secure jail. I haven't got out yet. 
It's secure because if you try, if you find them getting out, you can poke them with shorts. Okay, you want to come see the dungeon? <laughs> yeah, we that. should wait until Haddon breaks out of the jail. <laughs> I heard him leave him in. He said he could get out. He's properly rich. Push out the door. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Your hand's in there. You want me to keep pushing? Success. You don't want me to keep pushing? Yes. Yeah! All right, I did it. All right, and then what's this door here? This? It's a cupboard. We store weapons sometimes in there. The cupboard, and sometimes it's a good hide in place. Oh, nice. Is that chain for holding the cupboard door open? Yep. Dungeon bank. Do I have to walk across that bridge? Yes. Is it quite safe? Yes. I like to walk carefully on this bridge. It didn't fall! Inconceivable. No, hey. You want a weapon, you gotta get it. I don't know if I can balance across this. If we can, then you can. Just don't think about it. She didn't fall! Inconceivable! Alright. Ooh, what is that? Is that where you yeah. keep the gladiators? <laughs> That's, yeah. yeah. The lions? There's an entrance to the arena on the other side. But we were gonna, <gasps> we were gonna make a portfolio. Alright, I can through. also e get out this one easier. You guys should have counted the pallets that you used. I wonder how many pallets. All right, let's see. I don't know. We could count. Matt's artwork. Ship. Oh, so that's a. That's enclosed. Yeah. Well, mostly. Get off. Well, most. Okay, and then what is this? Get off. Here. Have what is this called? This wide expanse. The arena. Pull the arena. I, I, how? What is the arena used for? Fighting. Push it. Grab it! How I can't reach that Just, just far. push it over. Push it forward. Cool. <laughs> it's not complete yet. I Wait. see. Oh, so Ian Will had like some pulley system maybe that might work. Tell me about why was the arena created? So that we can fight each other. I will battle Malachi. No, I'm gonna fight you. We only have one weapon. I won't be allowed what? What? Put one okay. of the swords out. Alright. My name is in your You killed my father. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, it says Mr. Spear Man. He's gotta dance. Okay, you know, from Madagascar? These are people that need popcorn. <laughs> I guess. We should install a mini fridge. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Got your leg. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. How do you get dead? By dead? torso. Right here. Headshots don't count. Boy, dead at torso. But they do sustain real life damage. Hey! I killed you. Foul play. Who do you know? I'm wearing some of that um stuff from the Lord of the Rings. What is it called? Chain mail. My mail. Elven um, mail. I can fight with my foot. Oh shoot! What is it called? Myth mithril. What is the chain mail called? Mithril. Mithril. Thanks. And now what's happening? All right, we're fighting with our feet. Ah, that doesn't oh, seem. I always hit myself. <laughs> I, um, I feel like okay, you're dead. that's a good way to bust your boots. I won him. I won, uh, won him. I, I won killed him. him, and I also won. <laughs> oh well, that oh. was a little close. This weapon. A spear. I see. It looks like an old broom handle. It is. How did you know? What are these? A shield. Yes. A sword. And another sword. A sword. dagger. It's a sword, not a dagger. A sword. A 
And that is our boy's palette fort. That definitely does not increase our curb appeal, but is totally worth it for all the many hours of creativity and life skills and just plain fun it has afforded to my boys out here and to their many friends. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my Roots and Boots YouTube channel for more homesteading, homeschooling, home-based content here on YouTube.